My name is Gary. Uh, I served seven years in the United States Marine Corps. When I got out the Marine Corps, I was I wasn't I was 23 maybe 24, and I got involved in some things that I shouldn't have got involved in, and I wind up you know selling drugs and you know just a lot of illegal stuff. Eventually, started using my own product, and I became addicted to drugs, and that led me for almost a, a little over 20 years, maybe 25 years, in and out of rehabs, recovery houses, detoxes, all that. I was living in an abandoned house, and a lady came in from a, a from the homeless outreach programs, and she says, and she gave this long speech, and she said, if anybody, any of you in here feel like uh, stop, want to get high, and you want to get your life together, come with me right now. After they processed me, uh, when I went up to give them my information, I told them I was a veteran, and they sent me to the VA. From the VA, I stayed on the seventh floor in the mental ward for like a week because I was suicidal. I was depressed, and then one of the one of the uh, doctors, the psychiatrist, came around. He talked to me, and he told me about a place called Coatesville, where a lot of veterans was going to get clean at, and I wanted to go there. And he took me to Coatesville, and my recovery process began then. They try to get you to see your problems, and then they build you back up. They give you everything you need to stay clean, and all you have to have is the desire. And I had the desire at the time because the first time I went, I stayed clean for three years before I relapsed. So you know they got they they get they have a lot of classes, well classes all day from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. I started getting a one-on-one -on -one therapy with a therapist where I got to talk about a whole lot of stuff, and then you know I just told you know I basically just told them the things that you know was going on with me mentally is like a thousand things going on in your mind at one time. Like it's from one subject to the next subject to the next, it's just constantly going and you want to stop it, but you can't stop it. You know, the, uh, I get real anxious and fidgety. I get the feelings of, of uh, superiority, like I can do anything, like I'm on a drug. You know, it, it fluctuates, then I get the part, then it just real goes real down. Well, and the depression kicks in when I'm real low because I can tell when I'm starting to be depressed because I stop answering my door. I stop answering phone calls. I pull all the shades down. I got the TV on, but I don't got no sound on. It's real dark, and all I do is sleep. All I do is sleep, and I don't eat. They diagnosed me with bipolar. They said I was bipolar, which I had to admit to that because of the mood swings. I'm all over the place mood disorder, so severe depression. I got some mental issues, but um, I'm addressing I'm addressing them. I take medication for, for everything that I just told, was talking about. The medication helps me keep some kind of normalcy. And then they have a place called the Landing Zone where you can stay for up to two years and save your money and they get you jobs and all that. And that's where you get introduced to the HUD-VASH program, which is a transitional housing for veterans. So. That's how I came to be where I'm at right now. Like, my place is immaculate. And when I was out in the street using drugs, I never thought my life would ever be the way it is now. I do a lot of things differently now than I used to do. I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to break out of the, uh, the shell and get out and be more sociable. My family now accepts the fact that I'm not going to get high anymore because for years and years I was telling them I'm stopping, I'm stopping, I'm stopping, and now it ain't just verbal, it's an action now, they see it. I get more respect for my family. Um, my daughter trusts me with my granddaughter uh, now. I like, and they have, when they have functions, they invite me now. While you said it wasn't invited, so yeah, quite a few things have changed. I mean, I still see veterans on the street that don't have to be there, and sometimes I wonder if they was like I was when I first got out, didn't even know I had the benefits. You don't have to live in the street. Like, they got they got things for us, man, and we earned it, and, and, um, and, and all you gotta do is just put forth the effort, right? And the effort is small. You gotta have time, you gotta do the paperwork, you gotta do the footwork, you gotta do your part. The VA is here to help you.